Hi Scorpio, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Scorpio, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Scorpio. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Swords, and this is Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius Energy. So this is a card of someone who has retreated. This is someone who's pulled back their energy. They are going within, spending time alone. They've withdrew, withdrawn from love or from the specific situation. So there could be this feeling of taking a break from someone. Um, whoever has done this they are taking time they need space basically they they this is someone who feels they need to heal or recover from something they feel love has burnt like they've become burnt out because of their pursuit for love and they they need to kind of replenish and they feel they need to do this on their own so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say we have the page of swords air energy we have the ace of swords air energy and we have the strength card leo energy so if this is the person you're dealing with and it's not you who has pulled back and taken space um or if this is you who has pulled back and taken space uh with the page of swords there's a feeling of whoever you've pulled your energy away from they are they they want answers you know they it's caused them to be very curious about you they could be stalking you they could be asking friends about you looking at your social media um, this person is, it's almost like they, they don't understand the reason for this distance, this space, this time apart. So this person wants to communicate. This person is very fixated on this. They're very curious. They want communication. They want understanding. They want clarity. They feel like they weren't given that. So we are seeing someone who is very fixated, you know, almost like a very focused on this, overthinking the situation, looking for answers. With the strength card, there is this, again, it's like they're not, they're still holding on. You know, this is someone who is loyal. This is someone who still believes that there's a strong bond here and they're, they're not just going to break it or move on. So if you've retreated from this person, they're waiting for you. They're waiting to hear back from you. Um, but if this person has retreated from you, this could be your energy. You could be feeling a bit um, overthinking, obsessive over this situation because they pulled back their energy in a way that didn't give you closure or clarity. Okay, so let's clarify these cards, Scorpio. Okay, we have the ace of swords again and this is air energy um gemini libra aquarius energy so the ace of swords does show some sort of breakthrough mental clarity communication so we're seeing that whoever has pulled their energy away it's temporary you will hear from them again or if it's you you will be communicating with this person again because it looks like some sort of a breakthrough will happen through communication okay so let's see Okay, we have the Queen of Cups, Water Energy, the Six of Swords, Air Energy, and we have the Nine of Cups, Water Energy. Yeah, there will be some sort of mutual uh, communication where you both get to kind of clear the air and express your side of the story. And I do see some sort of compassion being extended from both parties with the Queen of Cups being here. Um, but ultimately, with the Six of Swords, it's almost like this breakthrough is like a mutual decision to move on um it could be moving on from whatever was the issue together as a couple moving into a more peaceful place together or moving on from this connection altogether the the six of swords is ultimately moving towards peace so whatever that looks like to you if that means removing this person from your life then that's there's that feeling of moving towards peace 
you know, and for some, peace could mean moving, you know, reconciling, making peace with each other and moving forward from the issue. But it does look like a feeling of contentment coming from whatever this communication is, like a win-win happening in the sense that both parties feel heard and emotionally satisfied with the outcome. There's that kind of feeling here, um, you know, this, this feeling of it went exactly how you wanted it to go. There's that energy. Okay, so I'm going to pull out an oracle card for you, um, Scorpio. Okay, we have show the world the real you, full moon in Aquarius. So a very authentic kind of communication needs to take place here. Okay, let's see. Okay, we have true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. So if this is really a real love, it does look like you'll be able to mend things. You know, this is feeling of truth being revealed, uh, authenticity, o opening up and, you know, really getting to the roots of something. Okay, something will be made clear after this temporary break. We have morning glory, affection and determination. The morning glory, which blooms for a day, differs not at heart from the giant pine that lives for a thousand years. Okay, so it does look like, again, is that temporary break here? But ultimately, there's a victory in store for you, a breakthrough as this feeling of success. You know, if a breakup is to happen, it will be very amicable. There's that feeling of contentment with how things get resolved. Um, but if you guys do move together, it's like you guys are actually getting to the root of something and feeling victorious in this connection. Okay, so I'm going to pull out a card for your advice, uh, Scorpio. Okay, so we have surrender obsessive thinking. If you're obsessing about a person or a situation, turn the dilemma over to spirit. Doing so will help bring you clarity or even solve the problem. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, Scorpio. I hope you have a really, really good day, Scorpio. Bye, Scorpio.